Hi. This is kind of crazy for me because for over a year now, I've been trying to get out of doing the social media marketing thing as far as my face being out there. But recently I have been doing a lot of, you know, peeking into marketing things and and um, reading some stuff and, and getting advice. And everything comes back to, you need to put your face with your product. You need to let people know your personality. Uh, people want to be relational on social media. People want to be relational online. And I have fought that. I've prayed about it. I've pleaded with the Lord. No, no, no. I just want to paint. I just want to create things. I just want to make um, old things new. And Lord, if you just bless this enough, I won't have to do this. And um, unfortunately, that's not the direction he seems to be taking it and he seems to be um, pressing me to get out of my comfort zone and to get over myself and do what needs to be done so i hope that this is somehow a blessing to you um, i thank you very much for watching this i'm cracking up because they say when you go to do this just be yourself let people see who you are and um, all this be yourself business and then the next thing is be consistent and i'm like that's kind of an oxymoron for me when it comes to this kind of stuff because i'm struggling to do it in the first place and um, so then they say be consistent, um, but be yourself. Be yourself and consistency regarding the business, they don't really go together for me. Like I need somebody to come along and like nudge me because the only thing I consistently want to do is paint and create and make things new. So like posting on even Facebook um, consistently for the business it's not I'm not good at it um, I'm not good at consistently promoting what I've done um, I'm not good at consistently sharing the custom orders that I've made because I've got to get down there and get my paintbrush wet and get busy and so um, this is this is gonna be interesting this is gonna be a challenge um, so uh, feedback is welcome be gentle be kind I'm getting kind of old I need like gentle words but i also you know need some good advice so um anyway that's that's that i'll share some things with you that i'm working on now some ideas i think one of the reasons that this is hard for me is because i am somewhat of a relational person like i love relationships i love getting to know i love the one-on-one -on -one. um man i just think that god has made each individual so much fun and with a story and so like to get on a camera to sit here and like get on a, a camera device and kind of talk to yourself but talk to the world it, it's I'm old, like I'm going to be 56 in April, and this is not how we grew up. You know, like you wanted to talk to somebody, you got on the phone and talked to them, but more than likely you got on your bike or you got in the car and you went and spoke to them face to face. So um, I didn't grow up with this, and I haven't used it a ton in this way, except for in close relationships, you know, um, FaceTiming grandkids, FaceTiming children, um, friends, that kind of thing. And so, um, you know, really safe places like your friend list on FaceTime um, or on Facebook. And so this is, it's vulnerable and, and it's raw. And while it's kind of fun and exciting and I look really forward to getting to know you, it's also a little bit intimidating. So that's, that's it. It's not that I don't want to know you. I do want to know you. I just need to get better at getting to know people in this new technology way and not just using the technology in my safety to places. I love other people's blogging. Our daughter has a wonderful blog. Um, she's um, one of the co-bloggers for Lavender and Laundry and I love what she does and I love what her um, her friend does and it's so fun to watch them with her kids and the crazy things that they do and just motherhood. Um, there's other you know art bloggers and stuff that I really enjoy um, video, um, YouTube bloggers, um, or YouTube, um, stations, and it's so fun, but for me, 
it is really frightening, intimidating. So that's it. All right. Okay, here's a little project I have going. This is a screen um, underneath the edges. I have a fusion paint uh, chocolate. Over the top of the chocolate is fusion paint ironstone. And I will be distressing that so that some of that chocolate comes through just here and there, um, kind of gives it a rustic look. I have painted the screen um, kind of a tannish khaki, not liking it. So I'm gonna be putting the screen ironstone also, give it a little pop. Then I'll be taking some uh, silk and fake flowers and um, putting them on the screen and making some form of decoration. I don't know if those are the ones I'm gonna use yet or exactly what flowers I'm gonna use for that, but I have them down here peeking just to see if I like them. This is a 36 by 36 uh, canvas. Um, let me see, I think it's an inch and a half deep. And what happened was I had some damaged canvases come and I contacted the company and they were awesome. They replaced them and they said, uh, keep, keep the damaged canvases. So I don't feel like I can sell those. And um, people are kind of always on me about getting stuff done for our house, which I'm kind of bad at because I make something for our house and then someone buys it. And so this one, I use the damaged canvas and I'll probably be able to keep that that way. Um, anyway, it's going to be a statement piece, not 100% sure, uh, which direction I'm going to go with it. It might be, um, our business theme scripture of second Corinthians 517, all things new, uh, new creation, or, um, I may be doing a time scripture on there and down here putting a small clock. So um, I'll work on it some more this week and it will, it'll take on its own personality. Um, as I work on it, I have no doubt that I'm gonna know which direction to go for our home over our sofa. Here is some of Paws, um, Kevy Webby, some of his handiwork. He has an amazing way of taking these palettes and turning them into just awesome, um, awesome work. I love the rustic. I love the mixed wood. Um, he just gets the grain to look really nice. Um, and this is going to be um, a custom order with the family's name across it. And I'm kind of excited about that too. Here is a 36 by 36 canvas, um, kind of the Payne's gray um, background. I had an idea for this, but I'm toying and going a couple different directions. So that will be something to watch for um, in the next couple of weeks. I also have received um, just a couple of orders this weekend that I'm gonna have to um, put a little priority on. So I may not get to some of these things for a little while, unless they're, they're custom orders that need to be done. That's it for part one of getting to know you and starting this adventure of being more consistent in my social media outreach. And I hope that this was a blessing to you. I hope that there were things of interest to you. And if you have some ideas or some thoughts or some questions, um, be sure to, you know, reach out to me. All right, Charlie, this is our Charlie. I'll show you Charlie and then we'll say goodbye. Say goodbye, Charlie. Bye, Charlie. Bye, Charles. All right. Charlie gets a bath tonight. Talk to you later.